My name is Nikki. I'm an English makeup artist and I live with Carlo and our daughter Skye in Positano, Italy. Our house is far from the road but surrounded by fruit trees and olive groves and we grow our own food. We'll show you what it's really like to live on the Amalfi Coast. Subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diaries. Something needs to be done with all of these peppers that are left after we roasted tons of them the other day. I think I'm going to have to stuff some of them for dinner. I am going to have to go and do some shopping because we have got nothing to eat except for peppers and I wanted to stuff them and we've got nothing to stuff them with. So I'm going to go and buy some olives and capers and some rice and all sorts of goodies. Wanna come with me? Dog. Do I want to take dog with me? Does the dog want to come with me? Wanna go for bookies? Doggy wants to go for bookies! Oh. Yeah. Come on Ready? Slight change of plan. Carla has decided to come with me because uh, we ran out of cat biscuits. That's not the right word, is it? We ran out of cat food. Um, about two weeks ago. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> and we have very hungry cats and we buy them in 10 kilo bags. So we're gonna go together and do some shopping, maybe take a little walk as well. <laughs> Rather than adding subtitles, Carla has asked me to explain. Um, this area here, there's a lot of flies. I think it's something to do with the sheep and they all go to him. So if you see him when we're walking up this area, going like this the whole time, it's because he's covered in flies, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> they love him. Yeah, yeah, that's the way to look at it. <sighs> Only 420 steps to go. Proprio bello ah. questo. Eh? Ah. Ah. Come fai a non fare così? <laughs> oh. I hate this sometimes. I'm worn out already. Carlo is going to move his scooter down so it's uh, in town in Positano and I always leave mine up here. So we're both going to drive down now and then I will pick him up and we'll go and do the shopping with my scooter. Holly has to decide who she's going to go with. Let's see what she chooses. for the next few months. Oh. Eh, dove stare là? La prendo lì in braccia. No, We're in Piano di Sorrento. We've got a bit of shopping to do, but we thought we would go down to the port and just have a quick walk around because we only ever go there in the winter, never in the summer. So let's go and see what it's like. We've just stopped here just to quickly show you the view. Yeah. So there's a little road that zigzags all the way down. It's quite tight getting around the corners here. Oh, port down there. And obviously the nice thing about here is you can see the sunset from this side of the peninsula. Very bumpy. Here, here. <laughs> 
Sandy Beach. Sit and watch the sunset and we've arrived just in time. And here we have the old shipyards that were all built into the Tufa rock. They're all along the coast here. Hello. What a surprise! <laughs> thought that was a cloud. But it's Iskia! This thing here is not Iskia, this is a cavern. This is Iskia. Look at the sunset. Look at the sunset. Oh my god! <laughs> Ci siamo spaventati. Non perché era così vicino. What are we having for dinner? Guy suggested. Sì, una richiesta. Rustici. Rustici. So Sky wants to get stuff that is. Um, God, how do you say that in English? Basically, it's an Italian version of a takeaway. So it's lots of lots of fried things, lots of mozzarella fried in breadcrumbs and and stuff no, like that. No, sono anche al forno. And some of them, yeah, some of them are done in the oven, but we're going to go to a place called the Ghiottone. Ghiottone. If it's open. The little cafe that we wanted to go to is closed on a Wednesday, so we can't go there. But I'm in the supermarket and they have a deli counter and they have exactly what we were looking for. Roast chicken. And these are the things that Sky wanted. I'm getting everybody one of each. Can't go wrong. I've managed to cram the shopping into there. So it is now time to go home. We cannot possibly carry anything else on this scooter. Today I'm going to finally stuff the peppers. It shouldn't take me too long. I'm going to do about eight of them. I've chosen the straightest peppers I can find because they will be easier to clean. Now the first thing I need to do is parboil them. So they need to be boiled for about 10 to 15 minutes just so they're slightly soft and not crunchy anymore because that helps with the cooking time afterwards and they won't burn. And there's one. We want to keep the lids. I am pretty sure that I have already filmed um, doing stuffed peppers before, but I can't remember where, and I can't remember how long ago, so I thought I would just do it again. Another little tip while you're boiling them, if you just slip the lids inside them, you won't get confused over which lid fits, fits which pepper. I will just leave them there for about 10-15 minutes until they're just slightly soft. I'm going to put in them. I'm going to stuff them with a mixture of rice, aubergine, some basil, some parmesan, tomato, uh, olives, capers, a little bit of onion and an egg. Yes we're going pretty much vegetarian on this one. You can add in whatever you want. You can put zucchini in, you can put ham, you can put ground meat in it, 
you could put um, any vegetables you want really. The important thing is you keep it quite liquidy so I will be adding some water because the rice has to cook and obviously rice absorbs quite a lot of liquid when it cooks so I've got to make sure that I add enough liquid in there. You could use um, broth or just plain water with a little bit of salt but then it's not all too dry inside the pepper. Some people do this and some people don't but I have just left the aubergine in some salted water just for about 10 minutes. It takes away some of the bitterness some people believe in this and some people think it's absolute rubbish, but I do it because Carlo seems happier that way. I have decided I'm going to add a little bit of cheese into this. I think there's maybe not quite enough for eight, so I need to bulk it out a bit. might have to put some more rice in. Now what you need is something to put these in so they sit upright in the oven. So I'm going to find a nice oven dish that will sit eight of them, hopefully. That should do. Now these are going to be too hot to touch so I'm going to have to use the tongs. enough filling for five so I'm going to have to whip up a bit more filling Let's see if I've done enough this time I think so all done I'm gonna now leave that in the oven for about half an hour and then it's ready to go Wow Another day, another waiting for Carlo in this beautiful viewpoint, which by the way, from the other direction is not so beautiful. That's what's behind me. <laughs> Best to keep looking in this direction, or even this direction. I've recently ordered a new camera for filming with because my phone is no good for nighttime stuff and low light. We've just found the courier in the middle of the road and we stopped to ask him if he's got my delivery. <laughs> this is the best way to do it. Stand it, stand it, stand it. I'm very excited to use this. Obviously, I don't have an SD card on me at the moment, so I'm going to have to get home and set it up. But it means that tonight I'm going out to do some night shooting. We decided rather than dash home and cook, we would stop at a little tilateria. So we are at Cerro Una Volta. We have the whole place for ourselves, which is very handy. And it's my new toy. I got the Sony ZV-1, those who are interested. Very shiny and new. È nuova, ma perché la volevi vecchia? Ne volevi un'usata, l'hai comprata nuova, è nuova, no? Carlo got cialitelli, which are homemade pasta with... Datterini del giardino del padrone. These are little orange tomatoes, orange cherry tomatoes called datterini, little dates but they're cherry tomatoes, from Gaetano's garden. Yeah. <laughs> and provolone di Monaco, mm -hmm. which is smoked local cheese. Del Monaco, no di no. Monaco. Okay, so new camera up and running. I've charged it all afternoon. And let's see how it works in low light. So I definitely wouldn't get that from my phone. Let me see the moon. And the stars. Ooh, exciting. Let's have a walk around the garden. These lights in this jasmine bush have gone on for about seven years now. They just never break. It's all the little lights that Carlo put in 
during lockdown. I don't think I ever showed it because I couldn't. Our potato flower tree. <laughs> it's actually a lemon tree covered in potato vine flowers. Looking very lovely. All the animals are following me. Hello kitty. And hello you. What are you doing? Hello itty bitty. Now the test will be walking down the street and down to see the boats. As you can see, it does get very dark on these parts of the steps and this is when I need to put my torch on. Oh, this is good. I've never been able to show this with an iPhone at night. It just does not pick up the lights. In fact, I'm going to do a comparison now. I'm going to do the same shot with my phone. Oh, I'm happy with this new camera. Where are you going, Kitty? I think we need to go back home. We've left dinner in the oven. You beautiful doggy. Come on, let's go home. Yes, let's go up. Good girl. Boy, wait, you're a boy. Up, good boy. Without my torch, this is how dark it is. So you, so you definitely need a torch to walk up these stairs. Good morning, I am down at the beach. I am now using my brand new camera to film with and I'm just gonna go around and play with it for a while and test out how good it actually is. So any images you see from now on are with the Sony and not my phone, which has been very, very good for the last few months, but I wanna try something different. come over to Carlo's parents house for lunch today and this is the view from their balcony it looks very busy down on the beach there but more interesting than that is what they have on their balcony they are in the process of drying figs for Christmas gifts figs for the view and here are some that they made earlier I've been doing an experiment. It's nearly sunset and I let the chickens out a while ago and I've just let them roam free. Uh, I just want to see if they can actually find their own way back into the chicken coop without getting lost in the garden. Let's have a look. Bedtime procession? I think it is. Aren't they funny creatures? Uh, uh, what do you think you're doing? Hello. 
is it bedtime, girlies? 